Wait. Good morning. Good Thought I'd take you guys along as we're getting ready to make some food for the worms. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. So Emma's making some coffee this morning. Yes. Oh, can I make coffee? So here's what we have here. Um, we got some pineapple rind, some... Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. So anyway, we've got some pineapple rinds, some orange peel, um, coffee grounds, really any kind of like um, fruit, fruits or vegetables, um, organic matter. We'll do coffee grounds, tea bags. There's a variety of things you can use. Just don't want to put um, like meat or bones, like animal uh, products like that in there. Eggshells are good. You can do that. Um, typically, if I'm gonna do eggshells, I'll bake them in the oven first you know, to, you could microwave or microwave them to uh, kill any kind of bacteria in that respect but the eggshells are good for calcium so let's get started all right so here we go got my Vitamix um, we've gotten some comments before where I mean it's kind of an expensive blender we've had it for about six years now it does a great job Though there was a um, some kind of class action lawsuit on the blade, like the, the black gasket or something, like uh, flaking off, or something, some kind of material flaking uh, that could possibly, you know, do some harm. Anyway, studies were inconclusive, like as far as like, causing cancer or anything like that. I and mean, everything causes cancer, but um, at some point. But they offered to send a replacement blade or a seventy-dollar gift card. So anyway, I may, I don't know, I mean the blade seems to be working pretty well. I may just go with the gift card. Anywho, that's not what this video is about. And you know, if you got the gift card, you could, if the blade broke, you could always either buy another blade or you could put the money into buying a new blender. Right. So what we want to do, we got, you know, I got these rinds and stuff like that. Um, it would go faster if these were broken up. Like what I could do is take a knife, and I probably will. Before we get going, I'll probably chop this up just a little bit before we throw it in the blender. So why don't we do that? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and chop up the pineapple in the little rind, you know, little bitty pieces so that um, it'll go faster as far as grinding it up. Again, the whole reason why we're doing this and not just throwing it in the bin is because it will, the worms will be able to process this a lot faster. Um, the more broken up it is. It's like, in some ways, it's kind of like we're pre-digesting the food for them or pre-processing the food for them. Also increasing the surface area uh, of each of the, you know, the cells and whatnot of this material so the worms can, it's just going to break down a lot faster. They're going to be able to chew it up and everything. So, it is a fibrous material, so it's going to take them, it's still going to take them a while to um, fully process this. You know, maybe two weeks instead of a week. I've got enough worms in the bin now that, um, you know, I can put a couple pounds of food in the bin and they can pretty well process it within a week as long as I kind of pre-process it for them. So how many worms do you think you have? There's probably four to 5,000. How many did you start out with? About 1,000. I'll have to go back and check, but... Then and you've had them for a while. I've had them for about a year. And I've been feeding them about once every two weeks. Okay. Alright, so we got our material. Let's take it over. Okay, so we're ready to go. We're going to put some of this material in here. Now, I shouldn't have to add really any liquid to it because there's liquid in some of these like core pieces. We're gonna put the lid on it. We'll start it out low.
smells pretty good. It smells like pineapple and orange, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And All right, so we got a little bit going. We're gonna put a little bit more in there. Actually, we'll just put the rest in there. Once you put the coffee in, it's gonna start smelling real good. <sighs> started out on low, I didn't start increasing speed. some really chunky coarse pieces to this kind of sludge that we've got here right we got our coffee grounds which um that's gonna make it smell good yeah and the, the coffee grounds we're using a manual grinder so it's not like a real fine grind so i'm gonna go ahead and add those in to the mix here mm. sludge yeah it will take them probably two weeks to eat through that it looks like rotten guacamole so yeah it's so thick it doesn't even come out <laughs> <laughs> so if we wanted to loosen that up we could add some water to that um and actually in this case i may go ahead and add some water to this because this is really dense We don't want to add a whole lot of water. Because that would just be too Because we don't want to attract bugs. But we're going to add about a quarter cup. did loosen it up. Now try putting it in. Let's get a spatula. You can get a big spoon. So there it is. This is a uh, food for the worms. So the next step is we're going to take it downstairs and uh, feed it to them. All right. As far as cleaning up, it's just 
simply rinsing it out. And then what I'm going to do, I've got some water on me from the spray. <laughs> <laughs> Put just a little soup in it. And basically this thing washes itself because I can, I can put it on the uh, stand here. Don't you need to put the lid on? Um, but be careful if you put too much water in it. It's going to, you know, overflow. It's like a milkshake when you pour it out. It out. And that's all there is to to that. The lid's pretty easy to rinse out too. And we've got a non-stick surface, so I just take a little sponge. Yeah. And that's it. So anyway, uh, if you're thinking about getting a Vitamix or like a new blender or something, highly recommend the Vitamix. It's been kind of my go-to gadget for um, not just processing warm food, but um, How many years have we had? six processing vegetables and things like that. So.